Eventually, the ceilings of the underground cities began to cave in, and massive amounts of rocks, animals, and all sorts of things that reside on ground level poured right in. Most of the cities were lost, but some were retained. No one really knows why this happened. Perhaps it was electronic tectonics, supersonic tectonics, or just plain old gin and tonic tectonics. Most of the temples that were built on site were still intact. However, they lost some of their basic structure. What had now formed was known to the natives of the time as the Nephilim Vagina Gap, or as the white folks of modern America call it now, the Bland Spanion. The uncharted territories and sinister caverns of the Vag Gap was very intriguing to some. For others, they were to be covered up. What was in these caverns and who lived there? And why was it to be covered up? No one can say for sure, but there was a lot of speculation that the great tomb of overseas artifacts and the actual state of Florida was found there. Florida was the only thing that was let out and put into place as the lowly hanging phallus of these flaccid states. Moving on past millions of years that really only mean anything to so-called humans, we find that the true history and nature of these gaps in the earth are not necessarily what we think they are. But who really knows, or who really cares for that matter? So what if ancient natives of America contacted starships and were in contact with people halfway around the world and built precise structures with limited tools and moved heavy stones without machinery and carved artifacts using primitive tools and relieved themselves in a hole in the ground? The last one is not so impressive, but it is smelly. The point is, None of that mattered, though, because they didn't invent cell phones. It was rumored and documented in certain publications around the year of monetary control takeover that explorers found many of the hidden things that are so wonderfully being covered up by the most common name in America land. This criminal organization has held true knowledge from the people and has stunted the growth of circumcisions all over the world.